Time and tide wait for no man. Today we are going to discuss the standard international definition for one second of time. We are also going to explain in details using simulations about how one second of time is internationally measured and accurately obtained. So let's do it. One second is defined as the duration of 9,192,631,770 periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between two hyperfine levels of the ground state of the cesium-133 atom. This definition is pretty much wordy and we need to break down the meaning of these terms in order to understand the meaning of the definition better. Number one is transition. In this context, the change in energy state of an electron within the CS133 atom refers as transition. At number two, we are going to explain the meaning of hyperfine levels. So hyperfine levels are subtle energy differences within the ground state of an atom caused by the interaction between the nucleus and the electrons. At number three, we are going to define periods of radiation, also called cycles. The number of oscillations of the microwave within a limited time frame is referred as the period of radiation or the cycle. At number four, we will define the meaning of ground state. Ground state is the lowest energy state of an atom. And lastly, we are defining radiation, which means that the energy released during the transition from a lower energy level to a higher energy level, which often takes place in the form of light. CS-133 This specific isotope of the alkaline metal cesium is taken. It is then vaporized using lasers and cooled rapidly close to temperatures of absolute zero that is minus 273 degree C. A microwave field is then applied in such a way that the frequency matches the energy difference between the two hyperfine levels of the cesium-133 atom. When the frequency matches, CS-133 atom undergoes the transition between the two hyperfine levels. This process is also called resonance. The number of cycles of microwaves it took to achieve resonance is counted and this number is 9,192,631,770. The time duration required for this resonance to take effect is defined as one second. Visualizing it from a musical analogy point, if a metronome ticks 9,192,631,770 times, that's the duration of a second. Bear in mind that this is just an analogy and not a true example of one second. Here, the total number of strikes of the metronome denotes the number of radiations emanating from the atom of cesium-133. That's all for today. Please check out our playlist, One Unit of a Physical Quantity, for more such interesting videos. Thank you.